Hello, my name is Rafael Escaduto Mendola, and today I'm going to talk about um, scripting element and design concept in setting up um, your script scripted uh, scripts uh, in order to build characters. The main idea in this talk and presentation is to show how you can uh, create a framework in order to manage uh, a large number of character in a production pipeline. The first idea is to understand the difference between software like Maya um, and, and Houdini where you basically create a large complex of networks versus a more object-like oriented system uh, like XSI where you create less objects which each contain more information and, or attributes if you will and, and functionality within each object. Uh, in a nodal network system you base each node basically has a single limited function and you connect these nodes together via parenting scheme and also uh, interdependency in order to create those complex mechanisms. In, in XSI, because each object has its own uh, functionality, you ha have you don't have to create as many objects, uh, and you can it's you can more easily interconnect them together uh, to cr to create your uh, rigging mechanism. This idea between uh, node networks versus object networks becomes more difficult to manage once you start building larger character uh, sets or more complex characters. Now one of the problems with uh, nodal network systems is that you really have to be careful how you manage and how you structure those uh, nodes, those modular uh, nodal systems and how they're interconnected. Be uh, with the object like network like in XSI you have less objects because because each object has a more complex definition and has more uh, um, more in connection within that object you don't have to manage so many objects making the whole process the whole process of debugging character rigs uh, easier to follow. This also has another advantage that when you have to process large scenes with large number of characters, the software does not usually does not have to manage, does not have to load and or uh, keep track of so many interconnections. Ma again, making the 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 scenes faster to handle and more interactive. In order to create these rigs. I basically had to come up with a development system uh, where I was able to develop a constantly and continuously develop a set of tools or functions to build the sub parts that make up a character or the mechanism. And the way I managed this was to group my functions into two sets. One being a core library function set where you have s small functions that create basic simple uh, items that are part of a character such as transforms, locators, nulls, and joints or and other types of systems that are not dependent of, on other uh, functions and extended library functions which are functions that call up on the core library functions in order to build larger complex mechanism. The nice thing about using designing such a system is that you can constantly update your core library functions as well as your extended library functions with new f new functionality without having to reinvent the wheel every single time and that functionality is available to automatically available making the development cycle s shorter as you move as you progress to more complex rigs one of the key things to keep in mind though is that you really want to try to figure out a way to standardize your function input in order that you can easily pass arguments or variables from one function to another um, without having to keep track of how which variables you are passing or what type of mechanism you want to use between the functions. So, in order to understand the rig assembly system, we need to take a look at the way functions work. In the basic setup, a function is basically um, a script that built that will 
set up one will that will run a procedure that run one command after another and of course you can do this in Maya using mel or you can undo this in XSI via the script host uh, which is a script engine mechanism which lets you decide which lets you use any one of JScript, Visual Basic, Perlscript or Python. Now the way I break down my functions or the tasks that my functions do is that I create functions that create subparts of character like a head, a shoulder, arms or legs. By doing it this by managing organizing my function this way, I'm able to create a modular system that I can that I can repurpose on multiple characters. One of the things to keep in mind is that in XSI a scripted function gets interpreted through the script host and semi-compiled into and cached into what's known as a script object. Therefore, once you load that function once, it's it's kept in cache and executes uh, much faster than if you were always reinterpreting, uh, reloading that function constantly. We now look at the basic function topologies that I use in order to create functions. This both applies to MEL and JScript, Python, and most other object languages that you can use within XSI or Maya. The main idea is that you pass, in this case I pass three variables, a base name which I use in order to create any nodes or objects in my functions, an option list which is made up of a, a long string of tokens uh, where I pass multiple arguments within that function, and a mode variable which I use in for debugging. The basic topology within that function is to first declare your variable, then parse the option list string where I take that entire long string and parse it this, the tokens uh, letting me parse the tokens into multiple into its variables and, of, and then set any additional variables that need to have values. Then I execute the procedure. One of the main ideas here is that the option list is a single string, therefore I can always add additional variables within that string without breaking any function calls. In an ob object-based function topology, you, you basically turn a traditional function into an object. So functions are now being passed objects and you can add new properties to your objects throughout the development of your rigging tools. The idea here is that, for example, you would create a head object, a hand object, a leg, leg object, a foot object, or a foot object with multiple attributes attached to that class which you would then pass over to your function or in this case uh, really your object that would create either your head, your hand, or your leg, or your foot. The difference is that instead of having to parse through uh, s several variables or having a set number of variables, you pass an entire object or, or a single variable, if you will, into that function. And so you don't have to do any kind of internal parsing and the function becomes more modular. Now we look at an example of how to build a a simple hello world script, a sample joint building script, and setting a switchable FK IK leg within XSI.